Atkas, written by Leslie Kimmelman. So you need to look at the pictures while I'm reading, and then you look at the show as it's going on, okay? I'm going to tell you a story, and they're going to act it out. The first <coughs> night of Hanukkah was just a few hours away. Rebecca Bloom was at shul, making potato latkes for the big Hanukkah party. Everyone agreed that Rebecca made the crispiest, tastiest, perfectly roundest latkes in town. Flop, flop, she dropped each latke in a big pan of hot oil. Sizzle, flip, sizzle, flip, as she cooked, she sang to herself. Big and round, crisp and brown, I fry latkes by the pound. Rebecca had just finished her first handful of latkes when, to her amazement, one, two, three latkes jumped from the oil right onto the floor. They rolled out the kitchen door singing. Big and high, and up we roll to see the dad and you can't catch us. Oh my, explained Rebecca. Oh my. We? We need you for our party tonight. Stop, Laka, stop. But the Lakas did not stop. They repeated. Think about Christmas. All we want to see the dad and you can't catch us. So Rebecca turned off the stove grabbed a tray, and ran after the latkes. The latkes rolled along past the rabbi's study. When the rabbi saw him, he closed his book and called out. Stop, latkes, stop! We need you for our party tonight. But the latkes did not stop. They sang. So the rabbi chased the latkes, and Rebecca chased the rabbi. <laughs> the latkes rolled along past the room where the teacher was practicing her tunes. When she saw what was happening, she changed her tunes. Stop, Laka, stop! She we trilled in a sweet voice. We need you for our party tonight. But the latkes did not stop. They sang. Big and loud, I'll be to see the that you can catch up. So the teacher chased the latkes, the rabbi chased the teacher, and Rebecca chased the rabbi. The latkes rolled along out the front door of the shul. <laughs> Two boys were playing ball, waiting for the celebration to begin. When they saw the runaway latkes, they stopped throwing the ball to each other, threw it at the latkes instead, trying to knock them over. They shouted, Stop, latkes, stop! We need you for our party tonight. But the latkes did not stop. They sang, Big and loud, fist and loud, we want to see the time you can't catch so the boys chased the latkes, the teacher chased the boys, the rabbi chased the teacher, and Rebecca chased the rabbi. Through the town the latkes went. They rolled up to the mayor's office. The mayor's office. Keep going, come here. Out he hurried to see what all the noise was about. He said, The latkes were hot 
even hotter than they had been in Rebecca Bloom's frying pan. Just ahead of them at the edge of town was a cool, wide river called Applesauce River. That's the audience. The latkes rolled straight toward it. The police officers and everybody said, No! Listen now. But as they plopped into the river kaplunk, a miracle happened. A Hanukkah miracle. In front of everyone's eyes, the water in Applesauce River turned into real applesauce for three crispy lasses. Rebecca blinked. Then one, two, three. She plucked the latkes right out of the river and put them on her tray. There were just enough latkes and just enough applesauce for each person to have one bite. Even after the, the latkes' long trip through town, they tasted heavenly. The mayor said, Just one oh, bite. Wow. The policeman said, I guess one bite will have to do. do. The rabbi and the teacher said, And look, applesauce river turned back. The boy said, I don't think we would eat anything better than a, a better again. And of course Re you will, said Rebecca. You're all invited back to the shul for the Hanukkah party. Sure enough, at the shul that night, Rebecca made certain there were plenty of latkes for the rabbi, the teacher, the boys, the mayor, and the policemen, and everyone else who came to the party. They lit the menorah, spun dreidels, danced, and noshed far into the night singing. Christmas is down, big and round. Oh, 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 oh.